Okay, part two of, what was this? The third question that I recorded a video for. Yes, part two of the third question, right? It's the same one over here. Okay, so the last question here says, write down the equations of the asymptotes. So we don't want the new equation, we just want the equations of the asymptotes of f. If f of x is equal to negative g of x, when we have a negative in front of something, what does it mean? I discussed this in a previous video. It is when we are reflecting it along the x-axis. Right? And then after you reflected it, we are shifting it then five units up. So let's first determine what the equation is so that we can determine what the asymptotes are. So I'm gonna, I wrote it down for us. The equation of g of x was 3 over x plus 1, so it's negative times 3 over x plus 1 plus 5. Let's just figure this out. Negative 3 over x minus 1 plus 5, and this gives me uh, minus 1 plus 5 is plus 4. So what's the equation of the asymptote? The equation of the asymptote is y is equal to, let's write this down, equation of asymptote. y is equal to 4. And that's our answer. Okay, this is a short video. I'm going to do another full question with you guys in a separate video.